Hello everybody, Joseph Anderson again. Um, I have a service call here at one of these uh, properties, commercial properties. I'm actually working on a uh, three ton uh, ICP unit. Um, what was going on with it, it was actually, uh, I'm not cooling. Um, when I came up to it, it actually had a uh, bad dual cap. It's for your condenser fan, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, right over here, this is your actually a dual cap, or a run cap, it's actually for your um, condenser fan. It's a uh, seven and a half microfarad cap. You notice, it's just two wires, or uh, three wires. There's uh, The brown is your from your um, your motor, and the other one is your common. Okay. Um, if you look on here, turn this thing around, it actually says seven and a half microfarad oval ca ca uh, capacitor. Um, this is actually what it needed to actually get the fan running. That's all I needed because the condenser fan when I came up to it wasn't actually running, um, just the compressor running and it would overheat and then shut down. Um, so what you do on here, um, to actually check it, you look on the cap, it'll tell you what microfarad is. You just take your leads from your meter, go to microfarads, read from one side to the next, and it should give you um, what the microfarads are. Like on this one here, it was supposed to be a seven and a half. I was actually reading a four and a half, so it's low. It's not gonna start up your motor. Um, so I go ahead and change that out. Um, notice, fan is running now. Now we're just coming around. I'm gonna check the pressures. All right, um, looks like we might be slightly low. Um, this is a R22 unit, so your pressure's gotta be around 65, 70 on your low side notice we're under 50 so it's not actually cooling um, then your head head pressure should be closer to 300 maybe 350 um, probably about 92 degrees outside give or take um, so we'll go ahead and add a little bit of refrigerant um, I actually already looked to see if there's any leaks it doesn't seem like there's any leaks so um, maybe just lost refrigerant over time or the Schrader's leaking or something so we'll go ahead and add some refrigerant open up your suction because your suction is actually sucking the refrigerant into the unit you can actually see your pressures climbing all right let's see where we're at all right so we're just under 50 all right you need to get it closer to 60 65 because you want a 40 degree that that 40 degree 40 right there that's where you want it that's a 40 degree abat coil tip anything lower than that 40 degrees if you start getting close to 30 28 then it starts freezing up the coil so you want it at 40 so go ahead Get that thing up all right let's see where we're at yeah see now we're looking a little better like I said we need to get it up to 40 yeah, it's a little bright up here, sorry if you can't see too well on here. I'm trying to bring it up a little closer so you can actually see it. Um, let's see here. There we go. See, we're like at 35 now. We're looking at the green. The green is R22. So we're at about 35, give or take. Just open your valve up a little bit more. See how we're actually climbing. We're almost at 300, so that's looking good on that end. almost there let's give it a second just to kind of let it equalize see the pressures go up a little bit all right see we're actually getting closer to 300 all right a little bit more See, now we're just a little about about 40 maybe a little bit more eh, well it's about 40 now so we're looking good on there um, now let's see here so we got some ports to actually put some uh there we go now see this right here on this end if you can see it that's your supply and out here is your return so what we could do is put a temperature probe in there just to see what our supply is. I don't know if you can 
see it. It's actually starting to drop. We're at 69 degrees, 66, 64. So we're looking pretty good. 63, 62. Yeah, we're looking really good. Because it's probably pretty hot in there because it hasn't been running. So you, you um, rule of thumb for uh, AC, air conditioning, is a 20 degree split. So if it's 80 degrees in the building, that's your return is 80 degrees. So you're looking around 60 degrees supply. And we are about that. And as the room temperature drops, the supply temp drops. So you're always going to get around a 20 degree split. So if it's 75 that means you got a 55 degree supply so right now it's looking we have about a 79 79 degree return with a 59 degree supply So let that sit for a little bit check our pressures again come back around yeah we're actually looking pretty good you can notice let's keep this camera straight but we're at 40 degrees on the green so we're actually looking pretty good that's our vap coil temp and then our pressure is just under 300 so that's good it means it's not um, over going over pressure so it doesn't shut off that compressor so we're looking pretty good from there all right let's check our supply one more time yeah see so we're staying around 59 degrees so yeah we're we're looking pretty good um, they only have one unit they only have one unit for the building um, so it is actually pretty pretty warm in there um, they just have a couple of swamp coolers that are actually running for their uh, warehouse area of course you know how those things work they don't work actually pretty good and when anything over 80 degrees they'll do decent but man but you need AC in the summertime. Yeah, see, so we're staying around 40. There you go. So this side is your discharge. That's your high side. This one here, the blue one, is your suction. That's your low side. So just always remember, blue is low, red is high. As long as we stay at that temperature, we should be okay. Give me a quick tour of the unit. It's actually a package unit. Just a package unit there. See? Well, this one's actually a uh, heat pump. There's no gas lines to it, um, so it's actually a heat pump. So it has a reversing valve in it, so it actually reverses the flow of refrigerant when it's going into heating. So right now we're running and cooling. It's a heat pump, three ton ICP. Yeah, our fans are running, indoor blowers running. Because that's another way too you can look at your gauges if you put your gauges on and let's say your head pressure is about that about close to 300 and your low pressure is even lower than that it just keeps dropping and dropping either your um, indoor blower is not running or your coil is plugged or there might even be a restriction in the line somewhere um, but most likely um, um, your indoor blower is not working or it's iced up or it's plugged because of filters so whenever you restrict air your suction pressure will drop whenever you get rid of let's say your condenser fan uh, or the coils are dirty then your head pressure will climb it will climb until it just can't climb anymore and then it will trip it uh, mostly uh, high pressure switches they'll run about 450 maybe 500 maybe 550 just depends on which one you get um, once it gets to that point, it will shut the unit down, shut the compressor off to protect it. Um, so right now we're staying around 300, a little under 300, so we're actually pretty good. 300 over like 65. Yeah, we are. Yeah, about 70. 70 over 300. Close to 300. So, yep, yeah, looking pretty good. Check our supply one more time. Make sure it's dropping. Yep, now we actually are at 58 degrees. So we're actually dropping the temperature in the room. So now the supply is dropping. So now it's uh, 78 in there instead of um, 79. So it's dropped a, a degree. So we have our 20 degree split. There you go, 59 degrees. 
So we're looking pretty good. Um, yeah, so uh, main thing, if you come up, your condenser fan's not running, you may want to check your dual cap, or your cap, I mean, your run cap, run capacitor, because that's actually what controls your condenser fan. Um, let's say if you came up and your indoor blower wasn't running, your suction pressure was real low and your head pressure was kind of about 300, then you might want to check your fan. If um, Your fan also has a cap on it too, so um, it might be a 5 or a 7.5 microfarad, just depends. Um, you just have to look and just change like for like. Um, so that's how we're looking. We're looking pretty good. Fans are running. Pressures look good. And our supply is doing good for now been running all day so <laughs> okay so that's it for this one um, um, I will be downloading more videos um, the more service calls I take the hotter it gets more calls we get um, so for right now that's it for this one um, so just gonna keep an eye on it for another 10 15 minutes make sure we're good pressures don't keep dropping it stays the same we're good um, so if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them at the bottom of my page and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you guys for watching.